What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I'm here today just to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff, stuff that a lot of you may or may not know about me. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm very, very big into racing. Um, and, you know, I grew up watching it as a kid. You know, I grew up watching NASCAR, um, you know, endurance racing, Formula One, and just all the different types of racing that there is out there. And, you know, I grew up playing the games. You know, I grew up playing, you know, the NASCAR games, the street racing games and all that stuff. And I invite some people in because, like, I mean, I know a lot of people are like, you know, like, why would you want to give up doing music? Well, it's not that I want to give up music. It's more the fact that I belong behind the wheel racing. Because I've always had a natural talent for driving and, you know, just going fast. And when I used to work with this guy, Bernie, he took us out to this racetrack for go-karting. And even he said I need to be doing it on a pro level because the way that I drove was pretty damn good, like that of a professional. And like, and I want to race. I want to get behind the wheel of a go kart and race on that pro level. But I can't do that because of the fact I have no license, and Amy doesn't pay me for six fucking weeks. Six weeks to six months, I don't get paid. And honestly, I feel like that's some bullshit. Six weeks to six months of not getting paid. And like, it's ridiculous. Because people have bought my music. And yet, I don't get paid for six weeks. Like, I would love to race professionally because, like, every almost daily I'm having to turn down companies that would like me to drive for them because they see my skill on the very real, realistic simulator known as R Factor a while back. I raced one of their events. And using the Porsche 911 Turbo on their hardest course, on their hardest and most technically challenging mountain course, and set a record of a minute and I think it was like a minute 38 seconds. And that's just straight up. Like, that's not even racing, that's just practice. And I was on wheel and everything. And I set a record of a minute 38 seconds on there, not knowing that they had seen that. But I've had to turn down offers from guys like Flying Lizard, SIC, um, Summit Racing. Like, I've had to turn down so many good companies because I don't have a license, which I honestly feel is unfair. Like, I get that you should have your license for, you know, track racing, like on-track license. But you shouldn't have to have a driver's license, like a regular driver's license, just to race. 
Like, where is that fair? Like, I've already proven time and time again that I belong behind the wheel of a race car, not behind a microphone all day. You know, to be honest, that's the only reason I took on music in the first place is because I had no other options. Everything I wanted to do, racing, going pro, doing that stuff, like I've always wanted to do that, but I can't. And it's because of the fact that I don't have money for a car and I don't have my license and I don't have anybody willing to teach me. Because all I've ever wanted to do since I was little and I really got in the race, you know, race on a pro level. Because I've proven time and time again, I've set records, I've beaten records. And every day I get asked, why am I not driving professionally? Why am I not doing it in real life on a pro level? Because of how skilled I really am. And I have to tell them because I don't have a license or a car or money to get a car or a go-kart. Otherwise, I would. I would love to race professionally. Like, that's something I've always been good at. Always. Like, you throw me in a go-kart. And tell me to go as fast as I can around the track. And a certain amount of time, I can almost guarantee you that I'll beat that time that you give me. Like, you tell me to go to Japan and race Mount Fujiwara or um, Mount Akina in under two minutes... I guarantee you I can do it. Guaranteed. And if you guys are just now joining and you guys are wondering why I can't race on a pro level, um, it's actually because I don't have money to get a go-kart and I don't have my license and I don't get paid from Amuse for another six weeks after my release and i released my album blackout what on the 18th and so i'm seriously considering quitting going through amuse and trying to go through another company because that's not fair that i have to wait six weeks to six months just to get paid And no, I don't work outside of music because of the fact that I can't because it's super hard to get a job around here. Like, it really is hard to get a job around here. Like, it's not as easy as people think it is. Like, it's very hard. Like, I've put in application after application after application online and in person and nothing back. So, you know, naturally, I turn to what I do best to be my source of income. But... I'm stuck doing music. Do I want to do music as a part-time thing? Yes. But racing's my true passion. That's what I've always been good at. Like, I've always had a knack for going fast and always had this... I've always had a lead foot, as people like to say. I've always had that lead foot... I've always been able to race, you know, on that level that people are just like, you need to be doing this as a career. And, you know, and it's like a lot of my friends are telling me, I belong behind the wheel, not behind the microphone. Like, I would love to race race on a professional level. I really would. I would kill to race professionally in go-karts. Because that right there would be a step up for me to race, you know, professional car racing once I get up there. Or even if I stayed in go-karting as a career, I wouldn't mind. I would love to do that, actually. Plus, with the way I am, it'd be a little bit easier. Because I wouldn't have to worry about 
you know, for me, racing a go-kart is easy because it's a one-seater. You don't have to worry about looking over too much to kind of see. It's just straightforward. You look this way, look that way, you're good. You don't have to, like, lean back. You can just literally look down like this and kind of veer your eyes and see in your side mirrors who's behind you. Which I've always been a big fan of racing. I've always been good with it, but I can't race because I don't have my license and Amy just won't fucking pay me for another two weeks or another six weeks. They don't pay for six weeks from six weeks to six months. They do not pay me. And it, it's sad. I would love to race on pro level, but I can't. And it's killing me. Like, I don't mind doing music. Yes, I know I'm good at it. And don't get me wrong, I do enjoy it. But I enjoy racing more than anything. I enjoy the competition. I enjoy, you know, being behind the wheel and just doing what I love, which is racing. Like, I love it. Because ever since I raced at that go-kart track for my old boss when I used to work for him outside, like, ever since then, there's, there's no other feeling like getting behind the wheel and pressing that gas and just going as fast as you can and just hitting that track and just racing. Like, there's no other feeling like it. Like, it's... I felt like that's where I belong. Like, I know I belong on a racetrack, but there's not anything I can do about it. And it sucks. Like, I'm literally stuck in a rock in a hard place. Literally, like, I can't get my license because I would suck at that. Like, and it, it sucks because of the fact that, you know, racing's all I've ever wanted to do with my life ever since I really got into it. And I never really started taking it to heart and really thinking about it until recently when people are like, dude, you need to be doing this as a career. You belong behind the wheel. And believe me, I would love to, but I can't, and it sucks. Mm -hmm. It really does suck. I mean, yeah, I can sit up on absolute racing and race all day against people. And don't get me wrong, that is fun. But I beat every fucking person there. Like, the competition there, it sucks. The competition is so stale and like below my level. Like I need to be racing people at my level. Like I really do. I need to be racing at my level. And you know, it's hard to do right now. I mean, I would race at my level on Oscillator Race, or not Oscillator Racing, but um, R Factor like I used to, but I can't because I have a Chromebook and not a PC. And other than selling merchandise to you guys, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else I'm going to get any kind of money. Like, I would kill to race professionally. I really would, but I can't. And it, it kills me. 
it really does kill me at the fact that I can't race. Because with racing, I know I can easily get a sponsor. But it's not that hard for me to do to get a sponsor. But in gaming, it's different. I can't get a sponsor that easy. I've tried. I've had my DK Custom channel for years now. And nothing. And the reason why? Because YouTube changed up their policies. And nobody nobody just subs anymore. Nobody subs to your channels anymore. And it's sad and it's stupid. But if I could race on a pro level, guys, I would. And there's no way that I will ever get a sponsor for YouTube because nobody ever subs my fucking channel. I send them links. I tell them to check it out. I upload whenever I can and nothing. Like, it's, it's sad. I've done gaming for years now and nothing. Even though I've proved time and time again that I'm one of the fastest drivers in the world for gaming. Nothing. No sponsorship deal. No, you know, no 100,000 subs. Nothing. Like, it's sad. Nobody subs anymore. I mean, if I can get that 100,000 subs and I can make money off of doing that, I can afford to buy a computer and, you know, get R Factor and show you guys just what I can really do and really unleash my talents in racing. Yes, I can unleash my talents on Pro Street. And today I just pushed, um, what was it, um, Literally a damn near stock Honda Civic, barely any upgrades to almost 200 miles an hour on a speed run. And that's pushing it. Like, I set the world record on Need for Speed Underground 2 with a minute 56 seconds on the most technically challenging course. On Underground 2, which is Palm, which is Palm Hill, using my Mazda RX-7. And if I can do that, why can't I get all these subs to help me make a living off of what I really want to do with my life? So that's kind of why I stopped uploading because nobody subs anymore. Even if I were to make a new gaming channel strictly for, you know, gaming and racing and skating, nobody will sub. Who subs anymore? Seriously. It's sad. But if you guys do want some merchandise or you want to buy some merch from me, let me know, and I will send you the link to my Dizzy Jam shop. But uh, until then, guys, I'm out of here. And also, I did forget to tell you guys, with the Dizzy Jam shop, if you guys do buy a hoodie or a t-shirt, you guys do get a free song with me featuring Skrillex on Voices. Well, with Skrillex on the intro and outro of the song. So if you guys want to buy that, let me know. I can send you the links. Um, I am selling beats. I have like a ton of beats for sale. So if you guys want to buy them, let me know and we'll work out a deal. It's literally 10 bucks for like 10 beats. That's it. A dollar beat. That's it. Guys, y'all, I'm out of here.